The day JC got drafted was a great day. We had never had anybody, you know, from where we're from make it. They give it to Harrison. Steps for a tackle, 35, and he's gone. He's an exceptional athlete. He has a lot of speed, quickness. So competitive, you know, always have that edge. Harrison runs left, and he's inside the 40. Yes. And 238, so he's passed the great Jim Brown. He broke Jim Brown's record. Single game rushing. How about that? That was a pretty big deal, especially in Cleveland. Jerome's career moved us from Cleveland to Philadelphia and back to our native Michigan. A trade between the Lions and Eagles was set to send us back to Philly when our world changed forever. I was getting traded from Detroit Lions to the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, you really go through a basic, basic physical, you know? They hold you, cough, you know, all that good stuff, turn your head, touch your toes, stand up. And then, then he looked in my eyes, and that's when it went south. Ain't no dude took the little tube, looked through my eyes like, whoa. I said, whoa, what do that mean? And then I was like, man, let me see the paper. And they showed me the paper. He said, he's like, you see that big white thing? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, that's not supposed to be there. A benign tumor. Right on my brain still. He was amazed that I was still up walking, talking. He was like, you need to have emergency surgery. I was like, all right. First thing went through my head, I'm taking myself home. I don't know how it's going to be done, but I'm going back to Detroit to be with my family. The doctors told us, you know, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. We'll get in there, fold it up, pull it right out. It should take about three hours, and then you guys should be able to go home. He was in great spirits. I was a little nervous, but he was in great spirits. I said, I won't say goodbye, but I'll say I'll see you later. And I said, I'm not going to even kiss you. I'll give you a high five. I'll do all that when, you know, you get out. After about four and a half hours, the doctor came out and told us that, that it wasn't going well. It goes to six hours, and then it goes to seven hours, and then you're, it's one in the morning, two in the morning, and you're looking around and saying, you know, they just want somebody to come tell us something. You know, I said, tell me he's going to be OK. And she, <laughs> Everyone kind of is. We're shocked. We expected it to be something that was pretty easy. Wouldn't have very many complications. 24 hours after the surgery, they found a blood clot in his brain, and he had a stroke. From that point forward, it was just every hour was touch and go. It hurts to see him like that because he's always the one that's just keeping everybody together. And to see him like that was just unreal. He was declared a quadriplegic. He had paralyzed vocal cords. He was trached and had a feeding tube. And that was. But she didn't say one word. I didn't die. <laughs> I vividly remember when I knew that he was back. Oh, Christmas Eve, yes, it was. <laughs> it was my granddaughter's first birthday. Giselle crawled right into the hospital bed, playing with all the cords. Seeing her smile and excited, I was so happy to be alive to see her turn one. I could see it in his face, and he was ready to go. He was ready to go. Oh, it was on. It was on. He had this pure determination. He was not going to let this get him down. It was just hard work, determination, I think love and support. Michelle was with him every step of the way, which was a blessing. Plus, she was more than pregnant. It was like any day she was going to deliver the, their second child. She really showed me the definition of what love and, you know, family and what being married is all about, you know, sickness and health to the death of your part. I, she really lived those words. It's a wonderful feeling to get him through this year. He's doing great. He is doing great. And, and we're proud, we're happy, we're thankful. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. I don't, I'm very thankful to be alive and to have a beautiful family. Oh, man, I'm very, very thankful. Very thankful.
It hasn't altered how we feel about each other, how we feel about our family, how we feel about our friends. It actually added a whole new layer of richness. It has been a beautiful struggle. <laughs> That's well put.